<laughs> Sorry, man. I was limiting myself. Okay. It's fun, man. I like talking. I don't mind. I don't like kicking y'all's butts, man. Uh, it hurts. It really does, man. And we're not taking any ground when I have a conversation with a person, man, and they share with me some stuff. It tells me what I need to teach. It's the way this stuff works. Okay. It's the way God works. God leads you to where you need to go. You study it, it's in your Bibles, it's in your Korans, it's in your other stuff and everything like that. Moses shows up here, then these people were there, and then he did this, and then it went this way, and it's that way. And the causalities, you guys simplify, like, you know, well, they had to wonder for 40 years in the desert because Moses got a staff and went, Pow! No, man, they were slaves for 500 years. Somebody's living in the house. You leave a place for 500 years, people move in. Took you 40 years to get back in. It ain't bad. After 500 for 40, it's a good deal, man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But people want to try to blame it on Moses. Well, Moses didn't handle it right. We would have got our house back sooner. Y'all can't handle 500 years in slavery, getting it back in 40 years? You can't handle the fact that the brother got you liberated? You can't handle the fact that the brother brought you the Ten Commandments? They don't even call him a Messiah, man. That was another one we had to talk about because some other people, one lady was laughing about it. She said, you need to turn this into a stand-up routine. What a brother got to do to be a Messiah around here? Because <laughs> it's like you sit there and you get a guy that said, Jesus, Moses wasn't a Messiah. Moses wasn't a Messiah. He wasn't a Messiah, man. Brother goes, liberates you from 500 years of slavery from another brother, parts Red Sea. Well, it was God all doing it. God does everything, brothers. I'm telling you, he's the messenger. It's not the messenger that's important. It's the message. So you guys are miscommunicating what the communication of the message is. The Messiah is not important. It's the message. Listen to the message. Okay? And so he's sitting there, and he brings you back the Ten Commandments. The brother who bought you the Ten Commandments was not the Messiah. You need to recategorize, restructure, and rethink your Messiah criteria. See what I'm saying? David wasn't the Messiah. David sings, man. David kills Goliath. David runs the, <laughs> the Philistines out. David, David cuts a brother's head off. David stands up for Abner getting killed. David fights off kings and assassins. David sits there and sings that it's God, all God, and all praise to God that he does it. David messes up. That's why y'all don't want David to be the Messiah, because he slept with a lot of women. He messed up. He did all these things. David was, but God still loved him. God, David gave you that message, and he wasn't a Messiah. Malachi was a Messiah. I read Malachi. It's real short. Other guys are coming with messages. Man, if I would have known that that's all it took to be a Messiah, I would have just sat down, got some revelation, sat down, and said, other brothers will be coming. Yeah, we figured that one out. They keep coming. Not to knock Malachi. I think Malachi was amazing. His messages were beautiful. And they were great, especially when I saw Muhammad in that message. It was great. It was wonderful. And it was a beautiful message. But they all have messages from God, which would make them the Messiah. You see? Jesus was the Messiah. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. How dare you guys not call him that? Just because he got cut short, sold out, and killed, then, oh, but he didn't get, no, no, we ended up still by the Romans, and da, 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 because the message was you guys can't change, and it's the whole group, not just the Hebrew group, we all in this together, everybody's allowed in, the Gentiles, the whole nine yards, you saw it was Christians, and everybody was part of the group. Jesus' message is that the whole group is included, that God loves everybody. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Messiah. Again, I repeat, Jesus is the Messiah. Y'all can say Christ is the Messiah, and you can be Christ as well, because when you see that the anointed one is the one most loved by the one that made him, and that we are all, all Christ, and we are all, in fact, Christians, then Christ is the Messiah. You see this, you pass this message out, you are the Messiah, you're the messenger. Muhammad is the Messiah. Muhammad's mother is of Hebrew descent. He goes to Medina where his, those people help to try to keep him safe. They get jealous because he's the Messiah. This is a pattern. Herod gets jealous of Jesus. Caiaphas is jealous. All the people are jealous of Moses. They're jealous of David. They try to kill David. This is, but you see the pattern here. You see the pattern here. You see the pattern here. They don't like it. Why has it got to be him? He's annoying. He causes us problems. He points out our faults. He's a jerk. Hey, what kind of Messiah are you? Same kind you are, man. You sit there in synagogue every day and tell us what a bunch of jerks we are where you're taking all our money to 
slaughter our animals and tell us that you're our go between between us and God. Dang, those Messiah guys are just tough. No, they're not. It's not tough. When a brother comes up and tells you you can save your money instead of feeding it to him. When a brother comes up and tells you you're all promised land and you all should be able to get it as equally as possible. Why is it so tough to share? Why is it so tough to care? Why is it so tough to do things equally? Why is it so tough to recognize a brother regardless of his religion, his race, his color, his, the way he speaks, the way he thinks, the way he cares, the way he shares? Why is it so hard? Why? Because you guys only want to see God and people think, look, and act like you. I didn't want to point that out. I hate it. It hurts. It sucks, man. I love you guys, man. You think I like telling my kids this kind of stuff? I tell them differently, but it comes out kind of the same. I figure you guys can handle it a little bit more intense setting because you're supposed to be adults, or at least that's what I was told. But then you act like children. Telling me who's saved and who's not. Telling me who's forgiven and who's not. Telling me what destination one person or one is not. Telling me you're God and I'm not. Telling me that God only gave life to one brother and not the rest? Telling me that God only recognizes one of us and not the rest of us? Jesus said he wouldn't know you because you don't know your brother. If you can't see that your brother is loved by God equally, then how can you see him? And if he can't see you, then how can God see you? If you can't see the Son, how can you see the Father? It's in John, man. Go read it. Like I said, let's talk about all this divinity of your stuff. I want the money back. Okay? I want my money back. 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 So I can start spreading it around the town. You understand? You didn't ask for that degree. You didn't ask for my commission to pass out the wreaths. How dare you say that? How dare you not? How dare you sell it? Because you cannot sell God. You cannot sell a piece of paper that says you know God better than someone else. It is immoral and it's against the laws of God. Do you see me selling? Do you see me selling? I thought about publishing and selling the book, but every time I tried to think about selling the book that I wrote, I sat there and I said, I can't sell it. I can ask for donations for it. I can spread it. I can sell it. I can find ways to sell it for a dollar. I can find that and then take the money and donate it. Would you take some money for yourself? Of course I would. I have five kids. I have to house them and feed them and care for them and provide for them. Yes, I would use some of that money to care for my children. Yes, I would try to distribute it as evenly as I could among all the people that I could evenly distribute as much. I would not ask for any more than I would give to any other family that I would try to help. And I would only be able to help a few families because I can't make that much money. It's just not in me. Write another book. Guys, man. I'm trying my best. That's all I can do try my best. I want to be your rabbi, your teacher, your friend, your brother, and all this stuff, but I don't want to be your, quote, messiah. I want you to be your own messiah. I just want you to see what I'm saying. Respect it. Reflect on it. See what you can take from it. Grow with it. Learn with it. Roll with it. Teach it. If it's self-serving, disregard it. If it's loving, caring, and protecting, and kind, try to keep it protection things are going to change truth is never crystallized it's always going to change change form depending on the situation depending on what you're doing we talked about it with solomon we talked about it with the baby when he cut the baby in half or hey man i got the baby it's you know it's whose baby is it so i'm gonna take the sword out cut it in half the mama says no don't cut the baby in half he gives it to that mama it does not tell you if that's the wet nurse or if that's the mama but it is surely the true mother because the true mother would not have the child cut in half in our society today they would have a dna test even if it was the one who said just sat there Oh, but she's the true mother. But she was going to let the baby be cut in half. But her DNA says she gave birth to it. She don't need to be raising that baby. She, she was going to let it be cut in half. This other lady was, no, 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 this is okay. That's why the lady was taking the baby, because she knew this lady didn't care a lick for it. That's why there was a fight over the baby. Do you see it now? 
Go ahead, brothers, man. I'm going to go do one more. I always do them in odd numbers. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm off. I love you all, okay? Peace out.